Hello and welcome to my channel. In this series we take a look at online webshops and their Facebook pages. I place an order mostly containing 3 to 5 plants of the same species or hybrid just to compare. I evaluate how the order is processed, when and how it's shipped and the service they give after delivery. Today we take a look at Orchid House Asia, a webshop based in Germany. At first glance they offer a wide range of mostly Asian orchids and some ornamental plants, but in fact many of the offered plants are unavailable and are just website fillers. I ordered some plants from them because I had some Cattleya iricolor, a species from Peru that was on my wish list. On the pages of the plants that are available there's a limited description of the plant. By clicking on the images you'll get an enlarged view of what the plants you get may look like. I didn't find any nursery picks when I searched the site and the internet. Also, when I was searching for a Facebook page, I instantly was redirected to Mount Sumagaya Creek Orchids in the Philippines. After completing and paying my order, I got a confirmation email that was quite detailed. Shipping was quick, but no tracking details were given, so I had to wait until the package finally arrived. Let's see what's in the box and how it was packed. They did a good job packing the plants so no harm could come to them.
at first glance, all plants looked good and the size was as mentioned on their website. Unfortunately, all plants came in very, very dry. So let's take a closer look at the plants individually. Although a very tiny plant, this one seems to look okay. When we look at the dendrochylums, all plants were very very dry. Even their tin roots were all dried up and unfortunately many will be lost. A closer look at the roots of the Cattleyas shows that there is most likely root burn and damaged or dried out roots in the pots. As far as I can see, all plants are pest free. Unfortunately, after contacting them by email, with pigs included, I still didn't get any reply after several weeks. I am just ignored by them. All in all, I don't think I would order from them again, simply because there's no reply to my emails and the quality of the plants was not top, they just want to sell. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to my channel, it's free and you will be notified when new videos are uploaded. Until next time.